It was great to see you know, five players from our academy sign deals recently and you know, the credit for that really has to go to the whole club and, and, and the whole academy. We're very passionate about uh, making sure that academy is, is the best that can possibly be we, and we set very high standards in all areas. Obviously all the staff including Radha Vizic who's the, the technical director play an important part and the recent appointment of Lockie Armstrong as the uh, manager of the academy uh, to drive in a continuous improvement uh, through the academy are, are, are key people but you know, everybody plays a part. What sets the, our academy apart from, from other academies, I, I think first of all, I think we scout the best players possible from all over Australia and we have the resources to be able to do that and a lot of clubs don't. Um, you know, we have access to world leading processes and innovations including you know, sports science, nutrition, sports psych and the facilities obviously. Uh, so it's, it's that plus the, the, the quality of our coaching, the quality of our curriculum that make our academy I think the best in Australia. I'm so pleased to see you know, players like Connor Metcalf and, and Nathaniel Atkinson you know, come through our academy and not only establish themselves in, in our A-League side, but uh, to see them uh, you know, represent their country at, at different levels and, and uh, that gives me as much joy as you know, the signing of, of a Tim Cale, for instance. You know, and nothing would give me uh, more joy than to see you know, half of our first 11 players come from our academy in the years to come and playing every week. And that's when we'll know it, it's a success. It's a tough A-League side to break into right now for, for any player, let alone a young player. But you know, the young players coming through and our academy boys, if they can break into our team, um, it, it sets them apart from, um, from the other players. And I say it to all the kids, that, you know, all young players that come into our academy, that it's not going to be easy here. It's not, not easy because our objectives are, are different from other clubs. You know, we want to provide or produce players that can play beyond the level of A-League. We want to develop players that maybe one day could play for Manchester City. And if that's not possible, then you know, those players will, will, will at least become you know, some of the best players in the A-League and, and hopefully future Socceroos. Um, we've seen you know, recently that because of the very high standards that we set, that some players can't cope with that. And we had a couple of us to mutually terminate their, their scholarship agreements. And we've agreed to that request because if they're not 100% committed to our program, and they're not 100% committed to being the best they can be in all areas of the game, that includes technical, tactical, mental and physical, then they're not going to become City players. It might be acceptable at some other clubs, and they might make it at some other clubs, but they're not going to become City players. Relocating to the South East for the academy, I, I think is really exciting. You know, it, it's vital that we provide the very best resources and facilities to our academy players. And, Moving down to the southeast makes so much sense on, on so many levels. In terms of the academy, particularly the players and the parents for that matter, will have access to the best facilities in Australia. It's, it's a $42 million project and one that's going to provide the appropriate amount of turf, turf and synthetic pitches, uh, gymnasium, analysis, sports science, nutrition and medical facilities. And, and the resources will all be in one place and, and uh, easily accessible to, to all staff and, and players alike. It's going to be a facility like no other in Australia and, and that's going to prepare the best Australian players for, for professional football and to be the best they could possibly be. First of all, I think it's really important that we bring in coaches that are, that are very good at their art, uh, that they're passionate you know, about coaching, they're pas passionate about coaching young players. Um, and once they have these attributes, They've got to believe in the city way of, of playing and, and developing young players and believe in our, in our philosophy uh, and the way that we want to uh, implement um, a, a city way of playing. We have some coaches in our academy that haven't played for Melbourne City, but if we've got players that, that have got those attributes such as Jakob Olaroka, Robbie Willard and Dario Vidisic, then it, it makes sense to bring in ex-city players. They understand the, the city way, they understand what it means to play for, for Melbourne City and they have so much knowledge that they can pass on to, to our young players in the academy you know, to become professional footballers and important, importantly to become you know, Melbourne City players. What's next for our um, academy is the uh, transition of our academy operations to, to Casey Fields completely over the course of the next four or five months. You know, we need to continue to review what we do in our coaching curriculum, uh, how we scout players, um, how we run our football operations, how we analyse um, the, the way we're doing things. We need to keep improving in every area and refining our core principles and objectives for the academy. We need to learn from what we've already done and, and some of the things that, that we've done well and some of the things that we haven't done so well and we need to improve on. 
And most importantly, we also need to make sure that we make the experience for our players and their parents, and as well as opposition players and their parents, the best it can be every time they walk into the City Football Academy.